Question 5 was a question on geometric series. So in terms of the geometric series, not a bad idea to go and get your formula booklet and turn open to the, uh, to the formula booklet page where it's got the bits and bobs to go with geometric series. It's very easy to pick up some marks here, but too many marks dropped. And mainly through bad factorising, which is a C grade slash B grade skill at GCSE. So we need to be nailing this. So question 5, it tells me the geometric series has a first term A and a common ratio R. The sum of the second and the third term, so I was hoping everyone would have written u2 plus u3 is equal to minus 216. It then tells me that the sum of the fifth and the sixth terms is 8. So I'd write down u5 plus u6 is equal to 8. Now to get your first two marks, all you had to do is write down what those, uh, what those formulas were. And that would be ar plus ar squared equals minus 216. And this would be ar to the power of 4 plus ar to the power of 5 is equal to 8. Now with geometrics, the way geometrics works is that it's going up by a ratio every time. So it's getting times by a number every single time. With simultaneous equations, we're used to adding or subtracting. But if we are going up, if we're multiplying every time, then it makes sense that to cancel out these equations, we would divide. And that's exactly what we do. And we will tend to do that more or less every single time with a geometric series. Now to do this, you want to get the biggest powers of R up on the top. So these are the bigger powers, so I'm going to do equation 2 divided by equation 1. So that would be AR to the 4 plus AR to the 5 is equal to 8 over, over, and then AR plus AR squared minus 216. The next thing that you had to do, you had to factorise fully. So this would become ar to the power of 4, 1 plus r, and that's where most people fell down and didn't get any more marks, is um, over ar, and then 1 plus r here, and then 8 over minus 216, I'm just putting into my calculator now, 8 over minus 216 comes to minus 1 over 27. Okay, what I do now is I look to see if I can cancel out anything top and bottom. The a's cancel, the 1 plus r's cancel, and r to the power of 4 divided by r will become r cubed. So r cubed was equal to the same thing, minus 1 27th. So r would be the cube root of minus 1 over 27. So r would equal minus 1 third. Which, if you look at the question, is really good news because it asked me to prove that R was at minus one third, and that's exactly what I've done here. Okay, now the next thing that you need to do, so that was part A. The next thing you need to do for part B was find the sum to infinity of the series. Now this was given in the formula booklet, so it really is unforgivable if you did not get this mark here. You should have had A over 1 minus R. That got you a mark, and it was given to you in the formula booklet. But to do this, I know what R is, I just don't know what A was. So I'm going to use my answer of R equal minus one third and sub it into either 1 or into 2 from before, up at the top here, to find out what the value of A is. Okay, I'm going to choose ones that are smaller powers of R. I'm not worried about the answer, it's more to do with the powers of R that will make this easier or harder. So I'm going to say to find A, to find A, sub R equals minus a third into 1. So I get a brackets minus 1 third plus a brackets minus 1 third squared equals minus 216. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, well I know that's going to be minus a third a, and then I'm going to put in minus a third squared, actually you should know that, minus a third squared would be plus 1 ninth and that would be a is equal to minus 216. And then I'm going to put into my calculator uh, minus 1 third plus 1 ninth. And I get the answer minus 2 over 9. So that would be minus 2 over 9a is equal to minus 216. So then I'm going to take the minus 2 ninth over to the other side. So it will become 216 or minus 216 over that answer. And it comes to an answer of A is equal to 972. Okay? Now I know what A is, I can say therefore, therefore sum to infinity, 
would be equal to 972 over 1 minus minus 1 third, and that's just going into my calculator. So 972, 1 minus minus 1 third equals, let's just say sum to infinity there, so it looks really nice and neat, 729.